Courageous. 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 Visionary. 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 Rebellious. 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 Welcome to Montgomery, the cradle of the Confederacy and the birthplace of the modern civil rights movement. Montgomery is a very interesting crossroad city because we celebrate the history of the Confederacy here. We also celebrate the history of the African American movement, which brings together black and white people who are focusing on two different histories in a way that is, has led to a very vibrant city and a very wonderful city where people from all walks of life could be here and learn something and be inspired by what we have done here in Montgomery. When people come to Montgomery, they learn not only the history, but they hear the voices of some of the people who were involved in the Montgomery bus boycott and the march from Selma to Montgomery and the Freedom Riders and every phase of the civil rights movement. Begin your journey along Montgomery's civil rights trail at the Troy University Rosa Parks Museum. Uh, what we do is we kind of put people in that time. You actually witness the arrest of Rosa Parks on the bus. You actually meet a few other people that were engaged. So you come even thinking about Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King, and maybe E.D. Nixon. But you leave realizing there were a lot of folk that did a whole lot and that you begin to respect that movement. Several blocks up historic Dexter Avenue, you can explore one of the most important landmarks of the modern civil rights movement. All ages, all races, all nationalities would want to come through, see the place where uh, Dr. King began his ministry. In fact, that is the pulpit, uh, the only pulpit that he actually had uh, command over. And uh, this is the pulpit in the church from which he started his ministry. A short drive from the church will lead you to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s former Montgomery home, the Dexter Parsonage Museum. He heard the voice of God say to him, Martin Luther King, stand up for truth, stand up for righteousness, and I will be with you always. Just keep in mind, this was a young man trying to do the right thing. And so once he got to that kitchen and he received that epiphany, he said, all of the fear left me. And he felt that he could carry on and did carry on. Head back towards the heart of downtown to an experience that continues along Montgomery's historic civil rights trail. The key for the Civil Rights Memorial was first building a monument to honor those people, those martyrs who lost their life in American civil rights movement. Maya Lin, the famous architect who did the Vietnam War Memorial, was chosen to design the memorial that has water flowing over their names with indications of how they died and also other indications of important events during America's civil rights movement. Students and adults alike recognize the names of Dr. King and Mrs. Parks, but they really don't know that or really don't appreciate that the civil rights movement was a movement of the people. One of the unique things about the Civil Rights Memorial Center is that it connects the past to the present. We say that the March for Social Justice continues. The march continues right here at the Civil Rights Memorial Center. Montgomery is a place that will capture you, will capture your spirit, capture your historical interests, it can capture your aesthetic interests. We can provide you with downtown trolley tours featuring Montgomery's historic Court Square Fountain, the Winter Building, where the telegram was sent to start the Civil War, historic Dexter Avenue up to Alabama State Capitol, the place where Jefferson Davis was sworn in as President of the Confederate States of America, and where the Selma to Montgomery Voting Rights March ended. The trolley continues with stops at many other historic downtown Montgomery attractions. So, you know, take a deep breath and think of the history that you're in the midst of. Let it swirl around you. Just off Madison Avenue, you can take a step back in time at Old Alabama Town. Landmarks Foundation has fixed this place up so that it resembles a little city from the south in the 19th century. And you'll tour the schoolhouse, the log cabin, the Rose Morris house. Uh, the cotton gin, the blacksmith shop, all of the buildings we have here are authentic. So it's a chance to really see where we are today as opposed to what we were a hundred or so years ago. Just five blocks from old Alabama town, you'll find Alabama's historic state capital. I think this sort of holds on to 
a part of the past that we want to show our people when they visit Montgomery. And the inside of the Capitol is just a, a work of art. Capitol building certainly is just a beautiful place to see. Just around the corner from the Capitol, you'll find the first White House of the Confederacy. The first White House of the Confederacy is where Jefferson Davis and his family lived during the spring of 1861. We try to convey what happened when a government was formed here in Montgomery and about Jefferson Davis and his family and about the preservation of the house. Next door, you'll find the Alabama Department of Archives and History. The Archives is the official state history museum. It is to Alabama state government as the Smithsonian and the National Archives are to the U.S. government in Washington. So I think in many ways we are the accumulated story of the people of Alabama. The heart and the soul of our history is preserved here. In addition to Montgomery's rich history, you'll find a vibrant city offering attractions that both residents and visitors enjoy. From our river walk and river boat, downtown entertainment district, world-class theater and museums, to unique shopping, you'll enjoy all the river region has to offer. Located on Coosa Street, you'll find Riverwalk Stadium, home to the Montgomery Biscuits. When you're in town, there may or may not be a game. We play 70 home games over the course of the season. The ballpark is open pretty much every day. And fortunately, this venue, which is called the Biscuit Basket, our retail store, is open most of the time. You can come over and see the store and have a chance to take a look at our beautiful ballpark. Around the corner on Commerce Street, explore the life of Montgomery's own legendary singer-songwriter. The Hank Williams Museum showcases the 1952 Baby Blue Cadillac that you see here. It's the car that Hank Williams passed away in in 1953. Uh, we also house the suits, boots, hats, ties, awards, his horse saddle, piano, many things that are related to his career. Head a few miles north of downtown and take a walk on Montgomery's wilder side. We're two attractions at one location uh, where families can come and they can enjoy the day and make it complete. They can have a zoo experience, they can go inside the Man Museum, they can eat up at our cafe. You can actually do all this in about two to three hours and really enjoy your stay here. It's really all about learning and all about having fun. Just 10 minutes north of downtown, you can enjoy some of the finest golf in the country. As far as golf facilities go, um, 54 holes is very unique. You have three great golf courses at one site, designed by a world-class designer, Robert Trent Jones, Jr. They're all quite different from each other which I think is a, uh, a great selling point for a lot of our visitors that come down and want to stay and play for a couple days. We've been ranked uh, as best value in golf on several occasions. Uh, recently we were awarded by Golf World uh, Magazine as the number two public golf course in the United States. Just a 10 minute drive from downtown, you can tour one of the most advanced manufacturing facilities in the United States. The Hyundai plant tour is very unique. Everything starts here with a, with a roll of steel. I want you to turn your attention over here to my left and watch as we have some of these 280 robots working here at the Hyundai factory. Now the children, of course, will say those robots are the coolest things that they've ever seen. And many would say they just remark how happy uh, the team members are that are working on the assembly line. A few miles east of downtown, you can discover the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts and the Alabama Shakespeare Festival, both located in the Blunt Cultural Park. The Alabama Shakespeare Festival offers um, a little getaway Sometimes people need a little uh, magic in their lives, a little hope, a little love, laughter, romance. And um, I think the shows at Alabama Shakes uh, remind us of that and take us away a little bit. And then just a jaunt away is the museum. So they have permanent art attractions. They have special exhibits that they bring in. So you could pretty much find everything, whether you want a nature walk or to look at some beautiful art or um, hear a great concert in the hall over there um, or just have an afternoon at a matinee here in the, in the theater. Courageous, visionary, rebellious. From civil war and civil rights to new visions for tomorrow, Montgomery is steeped in history, tested by rebellion and always courageous and changing.
Welcome to the capital city of the American